all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is going to be full moon messages. So it will take a look at your next lunar cycle, see what's coming for you over the next four weeks. Before we jump into the pile selection, I would like to take just a moment for gratitude. Thank you to the angels, spirit guides, ancestors that make these readings possible. So thank you to your spirit guides, thank you to mine, and let's have a wonderful reading. Now for pile selection, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. If you already have an intuitive selection method, go ahead and pause the video and select your reading. For those of you that would like to participate in a short breathing exercise to help you hone in with your intuition, we'll begin that now. Start by closing your eyes and taking a slow, deep breath. Hold for three seconds, one, two, three, slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in, hold for three seconds, one, two, three, slowly release asking which reading is for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the cards or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. You can use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading, and I'll see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the full moon. Your first message of the reading is to surrender to the divine. So surrender, let things be the way they are. Don't try to control the outcome, just live in the moment. Now let's take a look at your next lunar cycle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards and show us the next lunar cycle for group number one. All right, let's see here. Ooh, you start off with the Ace of Coins. So you guys are getting ready to walk into a new opportunity of a financial nature. You may already know what this is. This may be a new job some of you are starting already. Now, next is the Three of Swords. So there's some heartbreak. Followed by the Chariot. So you're having lots of progress. The Page of Swords, and finally, Judgment. Okay, so over the next four weeks, it starts here and moves this way time-wise. So this is, you know, right now at the full moon, because I'm recording this on the, the day of the full moon, and this is at the next full moon. So you have your Ace of Coins talking about a new beginning in, finance, in something financial-related, something mon monetary, you know, just material, some sort of resource. You guys have a new beginning there. Now, in the early part of the lunar cycle, you got the three of swords. So there's some heartbreak 
that's just out there. We're going to get an oracle card to see how to step out of this energy. Towards the midpoint of the lunar cycle, you have the chariots. So this is you putting your work in and getting lots of progress from your drive to succeed. Now, the Page of Swords comes out towards the end of the lunar cycle. This is somebody paying a lot of attention, very close attention. So this could be anything from you being told to pay close attention to what's going on around you or someone paying very close attention to you and kind of keeping an eye on things like your social media. We'll get an Oracle card for that one too and see what's going on there. And then you've got Judgment, which is a second chance. So at the next full moon, you guys will be walking into a second chance. Now let's get an angel card for the next lunar cycle for you. So angels for the best benefit of group number one. All right, you get show justice, which talks about balance. You know, needing to, to have balance, also needing to be fair. Be fair to yourself, be fair to others, just be fair in general. Now, let's take a look at Moonology for the Swords. So we'll start with the Three of Swords, Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. How do they step out of this Three of Swords? Expect powerful change, New Moon Eclipse. All right, so with the New Moon Eclipse, by the New Moon, I believe this heartbreak is going to be gone. Okay, that's just how that one resonates with me right now. I'm not certain. That's not how that card is normally read. But uh, but that is what I believe that means. So just know that this heartbreak, while it doesn't tell you how to step out of the heartbreak, it's going to be over by the new moon. So it's going to be over by the midpoint of the month. Now, ooh, don't let pride get in your way. All right, so... This may be you needing to pay close attention to the details around you because pride can sometimes stop us from, you know, really paying attention and, you know, just, you know, thinking that we've already got it all covered. So just as this next month progresses on, pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to your job. Pay attention to your family. Just pay attention to what's going on around you. It's going to be beneficial to you. Now, let's get Queen of the Moon for this beautiful Ace of Coins. Ooh, darkness. All right. So with the darkness there, it looks like many of you actually don't know what this new financial beginning is for you. Like for some of you, it is a job that you're starting like next week. But for some of you, it is a new financial thing that's just going to come in and kind of blindside you. Which, I mean, it's going to be great. It's not a bad thing at all. It's a very fantastic new beginning. Now, let's get Spellcasting Oracle for the Chariot and Judgment. So, for the Chariot, lighten your load. All right. So, this is you progressing because of all your hard work you're putting in, all your energy. This says lighten your load. So, don't push so hard. You're making great progress in the direction that you're trying to go. Don't push yourself too hard. Now, for judgment, you get trust. All right, you need to believe that there is going to be a second chance towards the next full moon for you. It doesn't have to be at the next full moon. It's just towards the next full moon. But, uh, but you need to trust that it's out there. This second chance is beautiful. Bring yourself into balance for the entire month, okay? Grounding, you know, just keeping yourself in a good balance now, I would like to get some of these little star seed cards to round out your reading. So, from the star seeds, for the star seeds, and you do not have to be a star seed for this to resonate. All right, so you start with blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Okay, so as you go into this heartbreak, as you deal with whatever is heartbreaking, remember to really find that love and that light inside yourself. Now, let's see. You also get truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. All right, so I'm going to put that out there. You walk your truth, but, but lighten that load a little bit, okay? You know, you, I think you have tons of courage. I think you do know your power. I think you are pushing 
and you are succeeding where you're pushing. But lighten that load a little bit, you know, and remember to have fun. Now, finally, you get no limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. There is. You just need to trust that it is, you know, that, that you are progressing on the path that you need to be on. And this second chance, you know, many of you are hoping for a second chance. And this is a, a wonderful, oh my goodness, there it comes, second chance. So just, you know, enjoy it. Really believe that it's coming to you. It looks like it's about a month out. And uh, yeah, remember that you are limitless. All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the full moon eclipse. Your first message of the reading is that your conclusions are within reach. So whatever you've been wondering about, trying to figure out, it's right there. You know, it's coming to you. So just keep your eyes open for it. Now, let's take a look at your next lunar cycle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards and show us the next lunar cycle for group number two. Ooh, you start with the King of Cups. Very nice. Then you have the Knight of Swords. Ooh, the Three of Cups. I like it. The Six of Wands. Beautiful. Ooh, and the Ten of Cups. All right, this is like the perfect month for you. You know, there is this... The King of Cups can represent you or someone else in your reading, but it is a very loving, generous, compassionate energy. It's the type of person you want to have with you. This Knight of Swords talks about challenges and tests. There's challenges and tests for everybody, but this Knight of Swords says they're going to pass quickly. They're towards the beginning of your lunar cycle, and just know that whenever you get to the challenges and tests, you're just going to fly right through them. Now, for the Three of Cups, that is, for some of you, it's pregnancy. So congratulations to those of you who are going to conceive next month. Um, and just, you know, yeah, that's just for whoever is trying. It's not a warning. Now, this is also celebrating in good times and having things to celebrate. So you'll be celebrating things towards the midpoint of your month. As the lunar cycle continues on towards the end, you've got the Six of Wands, which is victory. It's celebrating your victories. And then by the next full moon, you have the Ten of Cups energy coming out, which for some of you means you're moving. You know, you're moving into a new home. But for the rest of you, it is just things working well at home, things going smoothly, and, you know, everyone getting along, which is harder than it seems sometimes. So know that you are going to step into that beautiful Ten of Cups energy. Now, let's see what the angels have to add for your next lunar cycle. Be discerning. All right, so you guys need to follow that gut instinct when you're dealing with these challenges and tests here. You're going to get through them really fast. There's nothing to worry about. Let's, you know, since we're talking about it, we'll get some moonology for that Knight of Swords real quick. So, for the Knight of Swords... Balance, spirituality, and practicality. All right, so you have got everything that it takes to get through whatever those challenges are going to be. You need to balance spirituality and practicality. So some of your answers are spiritual. Some of them are practical. But bring, just bring whatever you have to the party, essentially. And you're going to fly through whatever those tests are. Now, let's take a look with Queen of the Moon at the King of Cups. So, this King of Cups either represents you or somebody else in your vicinity. Ooh, it's trust. All right, so it's probably somebody else. Um, this is advising you to trust your King of Cups. So, this person that's loving and generous and just always compassionate and really has your back, you need to trust them. Bring some trust to the table for them. 
Now, I would also like Queen of the Moon for the Six of Wands. Ooh, you're gonna celebrate abundance is what you're gonna celebrate. All right, that's beautiful. So you guys have abundance coming in towards the end of the next lunar cycle. Now, we'll look at the spellcasting oracle for that Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups was celebrating things. Ooh, and it's gonna be a healing time for you. You're gonna get together with friends. You're gonna celebrate on your own. It's gonna heal your soul. Now, I would also like the spell casting oracle for the 10 of cups, please. Travel. Ooh, some of you are gonna be traveling towards the next full moon. But uh, whatever it is, and some of you are gonna be traveling with your family. Some of you are gonna be traveling to move but this is a very happy home energy, so just relish it. It's going to be wonderful. Now, let's take a look at what the star seeds have to add to your reading. So, from the star seeds, for the star seeds, and you do not have to be a star seed for these to resonate. All right, you start with vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels, you are connected to cosmic intelligence. So, so the spirit guides are working for you. You need to work with them. Next, you get Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. All right. So, yeah, things are, I mean, things are changing, but in a beautiful way. You, you're coming into a beautiful time in your life. And uh, so just connect to the earth and stay grounded. And finally, you get gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. Absolutely. You need to be grateful for this abundance when it comes in. Grateful for your happy home. Grateful for your new home. Grateful for your celebrations. Grateful for whoever's in your life that is a just a solid rock in your life. Bring your gratefulness to the table, but follow your gut the entire month. You know, wherever you put your trust, follow your gut. Your gut is going to lead you directly the right way into this beautiful, beautiful time period. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three, with the full moon in Aries. Your first message of the reading is a fiery climax is approaching. So somewhere, something is coming to a conclusion and it's going to be, it's gonna be something to be seen. Now, let's take a look at your next lunar cycle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards and show us the next lunar cycle for group number three. You start with the King of Swords. Ooh, followed by the world. So you're definitely, a climax is coming and you're definitely finishing something. Like something's coming to completion. You got the Palace of Coins coming out. So finance is looking fantastic. The Ace of Swords, a new beginning that you have to take some sort of action in. But you're plenty strong enough for it. And finally, the Hermit. Okay. So at the beginning of your lunar cycle, you've got the King of Swords. This is the energy that's coming in right now. The King of Swords represents challenges and tests that you're going to need to bring your strategy to the table for. Next, you have the world, which is completion. So something is completing along with this fiery climax. I think the fiery climax is coming and then it's bringing something to completion. Now, towards the midpoint of your lunar cycle, you've got the Palace of Coins. This palace of coins is about having all your financial needs met and just being stable in where the place you live. So it's a beautiful energy to have, you know, towards the middle of your month. Then you have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a new beginning where you have to take action to make it happen. So once you get to this new beginning, you'll see it, you'll know it, you'll, you'll know what action you have to take and you'll step right into it. So there's not any worries. And then finally, towards the next full moon, you get the Hermit. The Hermit represents some alone time, but it's also productive alone time. It's where you are getting stuff done, you're accomplishing things, creative things, 
you know, um, things for your soul journey, whatever it is, it's a productive alone time. So you will have some alone time towards the next full moon. Now let's take a look and see what the angels have to add to your reading. So angels for the next lunar cycle of group number three. Ooh, you get hope. All right, so this time should be filled with hope for you. You know, you are moving into a beautiful phase. Yes, there's gonna be some challenges and tests. Yes, there's gonna be some alone time. That being said, this looks beautiful. Like you're going to conquer the challenges and tests in front of you. Now, let's take a look at the King of Swords with Moonology. So, for these challenges and tests, ooh, prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, prosperity does lie ahead because you got this palace of coins right here. So, prosperity lies ahead and it's in the very near future. Now, I would like to get Queen of the Moon for the world and the hermit. So, let's see what Queen of the Moon has to add for the world growth. All right. So whatever's coming to completion, it is bringing you personal growth. So know that you are just moving in the right direction. Now for the hermit sovereignty. Wow. Okay. So you are super strong. Some of you may like this alone time. Some of you may be like, yes, finally I get some time alone because some of you are, are bringing this about yourselves you are using your own mental powers and strategies to get some alone time. So take it however it resonates, but you know, congratulations to those of you that are looking for a break from the, from the rat race and just, you know, want some time by yourself. You've got the sovereign capability of manifesting it. Now let's take a look with the spell casting Oracle at this palace of coins. The Palace of Coins is your abundance coming in, your stable foundations. Ooh, and you get commitment. So some of you are going to be making commitments um, with your heart. And then some of you are going to be making commitments of a financial nature. Now, ooh, you also get dreams. So this action that you need to take for this new beginning, it has something to do with your dreams. And this doesn't have to be the dreams you have at night. This can be your actual you know, dreams. I dream of being fill in the blank. So this, you're going to take action, but you're going to step into your dreams. Now let's get some of the little star seed cards to round out your reading. So from the star seeds for the star seeds, and you do not have to be a star seed. Oh, whoa, that's too many for this to resonate. Yeah. You don't have to be a star seed. It can resonate. All right, so we'll start with surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. All right, so don't try to control things. Just let the universe flow around you. Next, you get wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. Okay, so if there are adversaries involved in this King of Swords, see them as the opportunity to spread love and light into the world. You know, return good to whatever. You know, just, just be nice to your adversaries. It'll be shocking for them. Not because you're not normally nice. That's not what I mean. It's just, it's shocking for people when they are not nice and people still show them kindness and love. You can do that. It'll turn your adversaries into friends. Now, choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. That is absolutely true, especially with this sovereignty card here. You are guiding your journey. You're taking yourself where you want to go. And many of you are hoping for some alone time. It's coming towards the next full moon. Um, not quite to the next full moon, but almost and just enjoy it you know really take some time meditate and figure out the direction you want your life to go all right that is all i have for reading number three thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button i really appreciate it until next time love light courage and strength to each and every one of you Bye bye Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the full moon in Libra. 
your first message of the reading is a win-win outcome is forecast. So just take it as it resonates, but there's a win coming for you. Now, let's take a look at your next lunar cycle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards showing the next lunar cycle for group number four. Okay. You start with a three of swords, so you guys are in kind of a heartbroken energy right now. We'll get moonology, but it's going to come around. I'm certain of it. Now, ooh, you get the four of wands next, so that's doors opening. Um, for some of you, that's even... Um, marriage so I mean not like you're gonna surprise get married but some of you are actually getting married in the next lunar cycle so congratulations now you got the king of cups coming out that's beautiful it's a wonderful compassionate energy you got the two of swords so you kind of feel stuck towards the end of your lunar cycle somewhere you feel like you can't see a way out of some situation but we'll get moonology for that one too Ooh, and finally, the King of Wands. The King of Wands says that you, I mean, if you start something creative, people are going to follow you. It's a good time to start creative projects towards the next full moon. That's when your King of Wands is coming out. So you've got some heartbreak towards the right now area of your reading. You've got doors opening and some of you are getting married in the early part of the next lunar cycle. Then you have the King of Cups, which can represent you or someone else. And it is just a very compassionate, loving energy. You've got a stalemate in the Two of Swords and wonderful creative opportunities in the King of Wands. Now, let's get an angel message for your next lunar cycle real quick. And then we'll look at the swords with the moonology. All right, so angel, the angels say Cherish Innocence. All right, when this Cherish Innocence card comes out... A lot of you have a small child inside of you, which is a wonderful thing. We should all be in contact with our inner child. But this is saying to cherish your inner child. Do something nice for yourself. Take care of yourself. You know, really treat your inner child the way you would treat an actual child. And show, show yourself love and compassion. Now, let's see what Neonology says about the swords. So starting with the three of swords, nothing is yet set in stone. All right. So you, some of you, this heartbreak, you're like, I don't have any heartbreak right now. And nothing is set in stone. This doesn't have to happen. So if you, I mean, if, if it doesn't resonate with you, just leave it. But, uh, but this also means you don't have to have these heartbroken feelings. You can look at the situation and decide that you're, you're going to overcome it and then do exactly that. Now, for the two of swords, work through your fears. Okay, that's the new moon in Scorpio. Look how those cards go together with the purple. Anyway, I'm sorry. I just, I love it when stuff like that happens. But work through your fears. Yeah, there's a situation somewhere in the, towards the end of the lunar cycle that has you feeling like you can't see a way out. Your fears are playing a significant factor in that equation. So work through your fears, get through that. It's going to help pull you out of that two of swords. Now, the four of wands was doors opening. I would like to see what queen of the moon has for the four of wands. The unexpected. All right. So some of you, the door is opening and the unexpected blessings are just headed right for you. So that's wonderful. Like you're not expecting what this good news is that comes in this good, wonderful opening of the doors for you. So just, you know, be ready for it when it gets here. Now for the king, for the king of cups and the king of wands, we'll use the spell casting oracle. So starting with the king of cups, new beginnings. All right. So some of you, this is a new relationship that you're in with someone like the King of Cups is the person you want to marry. You know, they're the, they're the, the one that is just compassionate and loving and generous and wonderful. So some of you have a new beginning towards the middle part of your next lunar cycle with the King of Cups. 
So just take it as it resonates, but this new beginning is gonna be wonderful for whoever this is for. Now, the King of Wands, lighten your load. All right, so the King of Wands was about you being able to express yourself creatively and being followed by people and you know, not followed in a creepy way, followed like everyone is gonna rally to whatever your creative idea is. They're gonna love it and they're gonna try to help you. So lighten your load, share your workload with those people that come to you and want to help you with, on your creative journey. Now let's get the little star seed deck and see what it says to round out your reading. This, you do not have to be a star seed for this deck to resonate. Now let's take a look. Your first card is surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. All right, so surrender. Nothing is set in stone with regards to this heartbreak. Go with the flow. The unexpected is coming for you, so just surrender to the moment. You also get meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. That's going to help you work through those fears and see your way out of whatever situation you feel trapped in. And then finally, you get patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So yeah, people are going to follow you if you start your next creative venture, most definitely. But be patient as it gets rolling. The universe is working on it. All right, that is all I have for reading number four today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the blue moon. You're told to believe in the impossible, so you should believe it because it's coming true for you. You know, the impossible really can come true for you if you believe in it. Now, let's take a look at your next lunar cycle. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the next lunar cycle for group number five. Okay. All right, so you start with the Five of Wands. So you're kind of fighting for what you want right now. Oh, and you've got the Five of Cups. All right, let's see what else. All right, towards the midpoint, you get the Ten of Coins, so that's great. The Seven of Wands, very good. All right, so where you're putting your energy, this fighting you've got going on here where you're putting that energy, you're gonna win. You know, you've got this, this win in, towards the end of the lunar cycle. And then towards the next full moon, you've got the Ace of Cups. All right, so that that is beautiful towards the end of the month. Like, that is really great. Now, you started with the Five of Wands, which is fighting for what you want. So right now, many of you are fighting for what you want. In the beginning part of the lunar cycle so like next week or so you're gonna run into this five of cups the five of cups is you looking at what you've lost and being sad about what you don't have and not really seeing what you have left so when you get to this emotion and and we'll pull a moonology card to see how you step out of it but when you get there really pay attention to what you have and be grateful for, for what you have left as opposed to seeing what you've lost. Now this 10 of coins, that's towards the middle of the lunar cycle and it is beautiful abundance. So you've got you know a beautiful abundant midpoint of your month. Now the seven of wands was you fighting but winning. So you're fighting over here it makes sense that wherever you're putting your energy here, it's going to work out for you towards the end of the lunar cycle because it's, you know, here at the end. Now, the Ace of Cups, that's close to the next full moon, okay? See, it's even got a full moon in it. But uh, it's close to the next full moon. But it is a brand new beginning of an emotional nature that you are ready for. 
you know, this is a new emotional beginning of some kind. And by emotional, it could be a relationship. It could be like, it's just, it's being blessed with a, a brand new something, you know? So that is beautiful for the end of the lunar cycle for you. Now let's take a look at the angels and see what they have to add for your next lunar cycle. Be content. All right. That's kind of what I was saying with this five of cups is be content. Be grateful for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have, what you could have had. You know, this is not even necessarily a loss. It's a looking at what you could have had, looking at what you believe you lost. It's yeah. Just spend some time with gratitude with this five of cups and be content with this. I mean, you've got beautiful things in the end of your lunar cycle. So like two weeks out to three weeks out, it's somewhere in there. Now let's see Moonology. I would like Moon Moonology for both of the fives. So we'll start with the five of cups because that's the one that, uh, that I feel so strongly about. You're told to take time to breathe out. All right that's going to help you step out of the five. You know, you're, when you start focusing on, oh, this is so bad. I've lost this. This is just a horrible situation. You know, whatever it is, you know, we get to ruminating about it and, and it just brings out more. So take some time to breathe and then bring in the gratitude and focus on what you have. It will make it stop. It's going to bring in this abundance and the abundance is going to be great. Now, this five of wands where you're putting your energy and you're fighting, you're told don't let pride get in your way. So wherever you're, wherever you're fighting, don't let pride be a factor. You know, if you need to, uh, for, if you need to apologize to somebody, don't let your pride get in the way. You know, if you need to make peace with somebody, don't let your pride get in the way. Because you're fighting here, but you're winning here. And the way you can get to that win is by eliminating pride in the, in the subject. So let's see. For Queen of the Moon, I'm going to pull one for this Ten of Coins. Because the Ten of Coins is just an amazing abundance. Ooh, and it's creation. It, this, this creation card, see how there's another face? This is you creating with your mind, okay? This is you being the co-creator of your existence. And when you bring in this gratitude here, it brings you to this beautiful abundance, okay? Now, I would like a spellcasting oracle for the Seven of Wands. Because that's where you fight and you win and it's healing for you. That's beautiful. Okay. That's amazing. This, you're going to heal after this fighting goes away. So this is, this is a very good, like you, you end the lunar cycle in a very good place. Now for the ace of cups, Ooh, it's career for some of you. I mean, it doesn't have to be career for all of you. This is a general reading, but for some of you, it's a brand new career in about a month. So congratulations, that's amazing. Now let's take a look at what the star seeds have to add to your reading. So from the star seeds, for the star, ooh, and that one too. For the star seeds, and you do not have to be a star seed for these to resonate. Now let's see what came jumping out. You get transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. All right, I'm going to put that with the creation here. Now you get guidance. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. Your spirit guides. You know, you were brought to this reading to hear something that I've said. Whether it's, you know, to help you make peace or to help you focus on gratitude or to just let you know, hey, you've got you know, great things coming in the mid month. So just, you know, take what resonates, but, uh, but you are being guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. Now your final card is wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. 
All right, so as you win and you come into this healing, really see the people that you've been fighting with as an opportunity to shed your light and to spread your love into the world. You are gonna step into something beautiful because of how you deal with these emotions that are probably even going on right now. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.